what's up y'all so today is friday february 12th i think don't quote me anyways if you're new here hey girl my name is jayla don't forget to like comment and subscribe so this is gonna be like a weekend vlog obviously it's valentine's day weekend i just filmed a prep with me for valentine's day getting everything done obviously i'm not too done up right now we're gonna get to that so check out that vlog as well um i took you guys around to all my appointments and also in that video i have everybody linked on um where i go to get stuff done but anyway so in this vlog it's gonna be a little weekend vlog uh, i'm not really sure what my boyfriend has planned for today he told me i gotta meet him somewhere i really do not know we will see I, but we love the surprises and the effort so just got back from target um i'm gonna make him a little uh valentine's day basket um by the way do you guys feel like valentine's day is for the women and the men or just the women personally i think it's for the women because if you go in, up into target walmart walgreens any of these department stores you'll find that there's teddy bears chalk uh candy flowers all feminine stuff so personally i think it's i think it's feminine but you know guys could like flowers my boyfriend don't like flowers nor would care to have a teddy bear or yeah like i would have to go out my way to figure out what i could get him for valentine's day but it can not be anything in the valentine's day section so i thought valentine's day would be more of a woman's holiday but i could see like valentine's day is more celebrated about love so i did get like stuff for like my grandma and my mom and you know like especially my mom because my mom was like my first little valentine and she will always get me something every year when i was younger so i got her like just little stuff that you would get in that valentine's day section as far as like to get for a man what do y'all be getting y'all mans like do you guys be getting them anything and if not what do you guys be getting them anyway so just last year i started making him a valentine's day basket which is cute i actually enjoy doing it i just sometimes get stuck on what to put in this basket besides like candy and little stuff i already gave him a couple things such as like i bought him an xbox gift card um but let me show you guys like the little other like knickknack candy whatever that i got him i'll be right back speaking of target i need to keep my butt out of target because i feel like every time i go up into target i end up spending more like more than 50 dollars for what like where did this how did this add up to that much money so yeah i get why you girls be like, yeah, Target be getting you because, man, it's got me the last couple of times. And I'm like, oh, no. Any of these big stores, like Walmart be getting me too because I be thinking Walmart's so cheap, which it is cheap. But then you start thinking, I need this, I need that, I need this, I need that, I need this, I need that. And it ends up adding up. So, yeah. All right, y'all. So, this is how the finished basket looks. So, I got the card the candy he's gonna be like why you buy me all this candy <laughs> um the two t-shirts and then this like little special gift um too so yeah y'all i do this okay like i'm actually proud of myself because it looks so good i'm just thinking about it like i can't wait to have kids and spoil them on like their birthday valentine's day any holiday like I really like getting people gifts. Yesterday when my boyfriend was over, like I really wanted to show him all the stuff I got him, even like the candy and the card. But I was like, oh, I can't yet. I wanted to, like once I buy it, I want to show you. Like here, just take it. Um, so I just can't wait to have kids because your mom is going to be your first Valentine. So let me spoil you and show you how you should be taken care of. I'm about to get in the shower figure out what's next.
to be a princess y'all so i'm headed to the location my boyfriend sent to me so we're headed there we're in traffic now i got issues i got issues yeah bitch i got issues tell me how you and my boyfriend rented us out a little hotel room so like a staycation um so let me give you guys a hotel tour because this hotel is nice friend got the door right here um and then this is a sliding glass sliding door and the bathroom is in here so we got the mirror and sink right there, the um, toilet, towels, and then this is the type of shower it is. This is nice. This bathroom is nice. Anyways, let's get to the, we got, uh, <laughs> that's not even the best part. So, got a little save knickknacks right there, nothing too important, nothing too important. Uh, another mirror right here. My stuff's there. We got huge TV. Uh, refrigerator, water, which we ain't touched that because they're going to end up charging us mm, coffee to make coffee. And then, so yeah, like I said, double beds. Nice stand right there. The best part is this view, y'all. Like, look at this view. The sun is beaming. So I'm gonna have to show you guys later. I'll give you a better view later, but y'all, this is a view. What? Ha. And then we got another little nice stand right here. For this view like this is so nice and the water oh Puget Sound Puget Sound's right there and then just look at the sky and the sun showing out today and a cute little car oh too cute oh, look at this mirror come on whoa and you press it and it goes off. Fancy. Fancy. I can't get over this view. You know, you know, arguing, trifling, difficult, make more. I don't know why you love me. You got it bad, you got it bad for me, babe. I don't so clear that I can have. I'm 
We've been driving these little line bikes and man, they are so fun. Good morning, or not good morning, what the hell? It's like seven o'clock, <laughs> seven o'clock. It's like 7 p.m. Um, I didn't vlog much. Um, obviously I didn't vlog this morning. I was just kind of enjoying, we were just kind of enjoying the room um until we had to check out because check out was at 11 a.m yeah i had so much fun last night we rode scooters like i showed you i would have filmed while riding the scooter but i didn't want to mess around and fall so i was like i just showed you the type of scooter we um we were riding around downtown so fun i don't know why i haven't tried those scooters sooner because those were like so fun and they were 30 cents a 30 cents a minute so cheap we had took the scooter to this bar um well not bar it's like a restaurant slash bar it's called yard house so we had got drinks there and like an appetizer because that italian restaurant we went to like it wasn't enough food so we ended up like getting a couple appetizers and drinks and then we were trying to ride the scooters back but once we got out the restaurant we parked the scooter right in front of the restaurant and once we got out the restaurant, somebody took our scooters. So we ended up having to find some scooters um, down the street and um, um, around downtown. And um, we also took it back to the hotel. So yeah, that's so fun. I can't wait to do it again. This morning we checked out at 11 a.m. Came back home, which obviously that's where I'm at now. And I took me a long needed nap. And I did some homework and now we're here. So I'm about to get ready for dinner. We're going to this place called Capital, the Capital Grill or something like that. It's kind of like the same status as Ruth Chris. It's just another steakhouse in downtown. I'm excited. I've never been to this place. Hopefully it's just as good. Maybe better than Ruth Chris. It's got the same amount of dollar signs. So we, we need it to be good. But it have 4.8 stars on Yelp, so it should be good. Our reservation's at the 8.30 and it's like 7. And I want to get in the shower again and wash up. Maybe do a little bit of makeup. Y'all, my makeup yesterday, ooh, ooh. I haven't worn makeup in a while, but it was giving. But anyways, I'll catch you guys once we all put together. I'm gonna use a black lip liner. This is actually a lip eyeliner. But it gets the job done, so. I'm gonna use my per usual uh, NYX Butter Gloss. It's in the color Fortune Cookie. One of the best and affordable lip gloss is out or um perfume we're gonna use black opium by YSL this is how it looks this one smells good I haven't worn this in a while let me put my hair up while I do this mm. spray it in my mouth Anyways, it smells good. I'm um, wearing a turtleneck dress with some boots. It's not simple, but it's given for the vacation. We are tipsy and tired. That 
drink y'all saw was stiff, okay? I literally taste a tad bit of blackberry or raspberry, whatever the hell it was, but I tasted most, I use, I really only tasted the alcohol, so it got your girl a little tipsy, <sighs> but, and tired. Um, but anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and end off this. Oh, let me tell you guys. Okay, so, um, Capital Grill overall, I give it like an 8.5, maybe a 10, maybe a 9 out of 10. I really liked my um, steak and lobster. I'll give that a 9 out of 10. I really enjoyed it. I actually only ate half of it, so I cannot wait to eat the um, other half tomorrow. Um, asparagus, I'll give it a 10 out of 10. I'm not a huge asparagus fan, but for the way asparagus be tasting, I'll give that. I'll give that asparagus I had a 10 out of 10. Um, even though, you know, like asparagus always has that aftertaste. Um, and then the macaroni, I'll give it like an 8 out of 10. Um, but I really like the scenery in there. It was real fancy. I feel like it's definitely fancier than Ruth Chris. Um, and we got bread. Um, the service was great. Um, so, yeah. Anyways, I'm going to catch you guys in the next vlog. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.